guys at Teach of Attraction back with another video and uh, in this video we're going to be uh, responding and looking at one of Alpha Male Strategies videos um, this is one of his more recent ones and uh, it's talking about a guy uh, he's overweight and everything like uh, what's this dude's name EDP445 uh, complaining about women okay and you know we just gonna we gonna talk about it add my little two cent um just go from there check out the branding check out the branding check out the books available on amazon y'all know this stuff is easy to make okay that's why he got three books it's easy to make Like if y'all into that stuff, I can I can show y'all how to do that. That would be something on Patreon. You know what I'm saying? What's up, fellas? What's up, man? So uh to make a quick video uh for all my big guys out there. Um it's this guy on YouTube. Uh, somebody told me to go check his channel out here with that crying about women or whatever. Crying uh, So his name EDP four four five. Uh, so I went over there. Uh, pretty good channel. Uh, it's not like he just sit over there and complain about women all the time. Actually, he's complaining to women is actually a small portion of his videos. Most of the time, he like he talking about random stuff, sports and all that. But he do got some videos where he's complaining over there about you know women behavior and all this and other type of stuff. And so the reason I want to make this video is not only just for him. I want to make this video for a lot of you guys out there. Now, this guy got almost close to 2 million subscribers on YouTube. All right? And so, just me knowing what I make on YouTube and seeing his views, he got to be making triple what I make, I, I would imagine, on YouTube, right? Got to be making triple. And so, it just got to... Let now, I saw, I saw, I checked out his channel, Okay. And I was I was looking at his content. Um, he cussed too much to be making all that money on YouTube. Um, he cussed way too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like some of his videos would be like very vulgar, age restricted. So I don't I don't know how he making that money from YouTube. But um, I you know that's his name right there. Me know and uh, something that I already knew that and he's an overweight guy money can't hide insecurities guys now right That's this right. is the issue right and he's an overweight guy the issue what I see with him is it's not that you can't attract women being an overweight guy I was overweight and I was still able to attract women the difference was being overweight wasn't an insecurity for me. I, I never thought that it should hinder me. Did I get rejected sometimes probably because I was fat? Pro so, like, hold on. What a title. So, when you go to this dude's channel right here, um, you, you can see how he looked, okay? He looked like he weighing in at about at least 300 pounds, all right? And, you know, probably the majority of the women that he does... Uh, a track is it's not because of him all right it's not because of you know his him, him physical his physical self okay because um the, like the only reason i can see from a female perspective of why they would give him is because he's funny and he's making up because he's uh he's like he fat um he, so he's making up for that that's why you always see a whole bunch of big dudes that's overweight and they overcompensating for that with they um they either self depriving themselves because of their weight or you know they try to be funny or something like that okay and you know that's giving that that um that friend zone type of energy all right like it's a lot of big dudes that I know you know they got a whole bunch of women around them but they not doing any they call them they the girls call him best friend and things like that. Okay, that's that's not what we trying to, you know, tell you guys how to do, how to get a whole bunch of best friends. Cause I know y'all got some friends that's overweight 
but and you know they out of shape, but they got a whole bunch of females around them, and y'all be like, man, they what he 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 got all the women. Like how you doing? Just because women around you don't mean that um, you doing anything with them. Okay. Probably so. Maybe I got rejected because my breath stink. You know, who knows? Whatever. I'm quite sure I got rejected some. Hey, my breath don't stink. I was overweight. But the point being, oh yeah, let me. I don't got stinky breath. Well, let me. Right. Start, I'll start that right now. All right, I know how you motherfuckers run with shit, right? But <laughs> the point I'm trying to say is. Money and even his success on YouTube can't hide that insecurity. Okay, so he's getting he actually right. gets, like, he, he gets like when when you overweight, okay, you're not gonna be feeling at your best, okay? And a lot of dudes be um, you know, trying to say, nah, nah, I just put on some clothes, you know, I get my jewelry right and I got a mouthpiece, I'm alright. I can do I can do the big man game. Yeah, okay. Okay, but we talking about you. You ain't gonna feel at your best. You ain't gonna realize that until you start eating correctly. Okay. Um, with me personally, you know, this is personal. But from what I found, my experience, you know, I keep carbs, you know, just about pretty much out the diet. All right. If I'm trying to maintain a lean, healthy body, Keep the, the carbs pretty much off the diet, okay? Pretty much the only thing is going to be honey and stuff like that, raw honey. And, you know, everything pretty much going to be raw, all right? I do the best on raw foods, okay? I'm not talking about vegetables, all right? I'm talking about raw fish, things like that, okay? Like, my digestion, my weights just come in smooth, okay? Um, no allergies, all that stuff start going away. But once you start experiencing that, uh, and if y'all don't believe me, I got a I got a video on one of my channels of me eating the, uh, some raw grass fed steak, and so I, I'm not playing around. Like I do that, okay? I do that for my health because I feel the best that way. And you know, you can look into. I'm not gonna be going too much into that right now because we talking about this. Um. When you lose that weight, man, you just gonna feel like a totally different person. You are gonna see different things from outer women, okay? Um, so you gonna once you get to that point, you are gonna realize that that is an insecurity. You got army trucks, man. You gonna see that that's an insecurity, okay? Cause you are gonna feel different. You just never felt it before because you always been three hundred pounds or you always been overweight. All right. And then they get to doing some bullshit. See, that's the thing. Women can pick up on insecurities, guys. Insecurities ca causes scarcity mindset. It's value. Weakness. Insecurity causes that. Not fat. All right? It could be, you got guys out here with six-pack abs, and they still got insecurities. Okay? It's guys out here that look like supermodels. Uh, that most right. Just like in that um, the video breakdown of old boy. Um, when he was in the car with the girl with the yellow jacket, um, you know, he's not fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, she found him attractive, but, you know, he just had all his insecurities. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta pinpoint them insecurities, especially if you're overweight. And if it, if it causing you to, you know, repetitively be insecure about that, that means you need to deal with that. Okay? It's harder to be overweight and, you know have you know try to fake some type of confidence you just gonna be automatically confident when you start getting your life together all right guys who think like look like supermodels and they still got insecurities all right then they just have a fitness guy over there break down i can't think of his name but they had a fitness guy on his youtube channel got like two million subscribers a mental breakdown on camera so it, it just goes to let you know guys that you got to overcome those insecurities now some insecurities, you got to learn how to just accept that you're not you're perfect, right? I have my insecurities. Y'all guys have insecurities. If I just accept my insecurities and say, hey, you know, if it was meant for me to be perfect, I would be perfect. I, and I just accept them. And then I can do good about it. I'm not meant to be perfect. And any woman I'm looking at, you ain't perfect either. There's something, there's something wrong with you too. Okay? 
<laughs> See, this is why AMF is cool, cause yo, know, he, he ain't scared to say the uh, the real shit. <laughs> like a lot of dudes and a lot of people in general would be scared to say things. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of refreshing to see somebody, you know, tell tell it how it is. This one, with his weight, which I'm, I'm just speculating, right? I'm just speculating because he got that fat boy personality. And what I mean by that, guys, is when you have a... And y'all know, y'all know that fat boy person. Uh-oh. He's starting to look kind of sick to me. I was just saying. So, usually, how I've seen people who have insecurities, most time they either go way overboard or way underboard. Right, just like, just like that. Was... They go way over or way under. So, either they're going to be like real shy or they real over the top. Okay? And so, when you out with these women. You know, we, um, we used to see this a lot in high school. Okay? Because a, a lot of people was out of shape. Well, a lot of people was in shape in high school. And, you know, whoever was in shape got out of shape. Whoever was out of shape got into shape. Like I was, I was overweight, so I know exactly how it is to be overweight. You know what I'm saying? They used to call me uh, Arthur back all the way back in uh, third grade, man. Okay, and then I started slimming down because I started playing basketball. Okay, um, yeah, like that's. Cause after I started losing that weight, um, I was starting to become known in school as uh, some somebody who 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 got quick comebacks. Okay, so he funny, all right, and you know that's why you know a lot of the popular kids started uh, gravitating towards me, and I played basketball because uh, I ain't I ain't you know I ain't take no shit, and they found that funny. You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I pretty much always been like that. Uh, but they found that funny. But, you know, that is the personality of a, of a fat, they are fat picking dude. up on those insecurities. They don't really mind you not being perfect. All right? They don't really, okay, you're a little overweight. If, if being overweight was an issue for her, if it was that big of an issue for her, you wouldn't even got a number. Okay? If you got... We do know women. Know. Now, wait, hold on. Because we already know women, uh, you know, give numbers just to get away. Okay. Did, did, you know, that's why I personally, I don't I don't ask for numbers. I just give them my number. And then, you know, if they're going to text or call, then they're going to do it. If they don't, they're not going to do it. Okay. I don't really give a damn because there's some other women that got my number that's going to do it. Okay. Uh, so that number thing. Don't love, you know, love attention or whatever. So yeah, they will use me and sometimes, but a lot of times, right? right. Okay. Well, sometimes a woman will just give you a number to get you out of face, right? All right. But Thanks for clarifying. Right? But let's just say that's half the case. Let's say half the women you meet, they give you their number, so because they want to just have somebody to talk to on the phone, or they give you their number just so you leave them alone. Okay. Let's say that's half. What about the other half? The other half found you somewhat attractive, and you had your foot in the door, and you blew it with your insecurities. All right, and I'm just gonna speculate that it's you being overweight. It's not like he said, guys, he don't get numbers and he don't get dates. He gets dates, and then he gets fearful behavior behind it. Just like that dude. That's why I made that video, okay? And then this video to go along with that because they go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. You know, you got, you, you cannot, like, even if you got money and all this stuff that you're saying you need to attract women, you start getting dates. Even if she find you attractive, you can't be doing stuff like that, man. You can't, you can't be all over the place. You can't have no purpose to why y'all linking, as, as y'all call it. Y'all, y'all don't call it dating, y'all call it linking. Well, what that, what that tells you, that tells you that you had women that had some kind of attraction to you, and you blew it. That's how I take it. It's not like this guy over here saying, oh, I don't even get numbers and I don't even get dates. He gets dates and he blows it with his insecurities. So the issue with this is, if I'm him, 
I'm taking a whole year to work on myself physically. If okay, that's and that's the can. point out in the video I want to. Because basically, that's that's what it's about. Okay, you got insecurities. You need to just go ahead and deal with them. All right, so it ain't no insecurity no more. Okay, so your overall score, uh, I think y'all call it uh, SMV. So your overall SMV is uh, looking good. All right, so you looking good overall. All right, not just in the looks department, but when they actually come down to meeting with the woman, interacting with the woman, you good in that department too because you ain't got no insecurities. You understand what I'm saying? So if you if you got insecurities about your head, like hey, don't mess his ball. Okay, that's something that he had to you know accept. Okay, I'm bald. If they don't like me because I'm bald, then hey, I don't really give a damn. But he not finna go over the top and just make a whole bunch of bald jokes. Okay, about himself. That self depreciate. That's self depreciating. Um jokes about himself okay because then you're gonna start giving that friend zone type of vibe to women and then you're gonna end up in a friend zone with that so um you know if you overweight man just start eating right cut cut your cut all the garbage out cut all the damn carbs out they ain't doing you right okay and start upping your fats and your proteins from animal foods all right and all that stuff gonna start Getting together, man. You're going to start having energy. You ain't going to be as anxious all the time. Because food is what causes the anxiety. Okay? Daddy not dealing with, you know, your issues. All right? So, that's pretty much um, out of this video. Uh, just to drive the point home, you know, you got insecurities, man. Just go ahead and deal with it. Just go ahead and deal with it. Stop playing around. Stop trying to uh, have a fake personality. Try to cover it up. Have that fat boy personality. Just go ahead and deal with it. All right? So, go ahead and watch the next video. Uh, I gotta have, I'm going to have a playlist up there, too. Just go ahead and watch the videos. See what videos in the playlist uh, speak to you and something that you want to find out.